All right, YouTube 116 Falconer here. Uh, <clears throat> this freaking blew my mind, man. You know, I got this uh, budget trail cam. It's Supremo's Bulletproof. Um, pictures only. I got a freaking critter that's been digging holes uh, in my garage. I mean, one freaking hole in there. I removed six five-gallon buckets of freaking gravel. They came up out of this one hole. So, you know, I'm pretty sure it's a freaking rat. All right. I don't know how a rat got around here. <clears throat> Never seen a rat before. Um, the only thing I can think of is last year, our village went through and trapped all these uh, cats that were running around. So, you know, when the cat's away, the mice will play, I guess. Um, <clears throat> I've tried everything to catch this freaking thing. I've put up live traps, um, rat traps. I've set my uh, other camera up here with night shot. All right. I left about seven days. I ran this at different spots. Never caught an image of what the hell it was. I got uh, kind of bear traps set up on every hole I can find. And the freaking thing has never used them holes again um, as a matter of fact it goes around and like backfills all them holes I'm like what the fuck is this anyways so I saw recent activity on one of the holes so I set up the trail cam all right so it was, it was about two feet from from where the hole was um, and it took like 30 pictures throughout the night I was excited go up you know pop the SD card in my computer and it's just a white screen because that flash is so strong on there so yesterday I was like you know I gotta freaking figure out how to lower the the IR light output on this so I figured this camera in there has one uh, IR bulb behind this dark panel so I'm like all right so I figured this wasn't going to be as strong, so I taped over, this is three rows of five bulbs. So I taped over the top row, the bottom row, left the center row exposed. Went in a pitch black closet, uh, tried a few pictures, and just white screen. So, uh, so then uh, I taped all but one IR light. Same thing, freaking white screen, that's it. So I covered that one up, tried it again, same freaking thing. So then I, I put another layer of tape over the whole thing, same thing, um, up until like five layers, okay? On my sixth layer, you could start to make something out. It was still white screen, but you could start to make something out. It ended up... Uh, 10 layers 10 layers of this freaking blue tape on there um and i got the pictures i wanted i finally got a picture of this freaking ass rat all right youtube so this is my uh, progression yesterday unfortunately i deleted the pictures the night pictures of, of the overexposure but this is me trying um Trying to get that that uh, trail cam to, to take pictures. So the first few images are with just the center um, center row of five IRs illuminated. You can see. We'll just scroll through them here. Um, you can't make anything out. Well, this one, you can kind of see something up here. Don't know what it is. Um, and I progressed through trying different layers of tape. All right. This first, I was in the bathroom with the door closed. Um, there, I think that's like five layers, five or six layers. Um, it's still a lot of overexposure. When you get too close, you can see what happens there. Um, then I moved into the into the closet, um, 
you know, I keep putting layers up. I should have tagged these to remember how many layers I exactly had put up. Um, I don't know why that spot keeps showing up like that on the wall. Maybe it's an entity. Um, so, all right, here we go. I, we're like eight layers, nine layers, something like that. Uh, moved into the closet. Um, so you can see I'm putting my hands pretty close to the to the uh, to the camera, and I'm not getting overexposure. This is what I use to substitute for a rat, a little little Chihuahua dog puppet thing that barks, you know, and moves. Um, and that was this was I don't know, 20 inches away, something like that. Um, there I are with the door all the way closed, so no lights coming in. So, now this one, I think I turned the light on in the closet. Alright, so more. This is like 10 layers. Then I tried it. I took all the layers off, put it back in the closet, just to try to make sure that, uh, you know, I was getting accurate, accurate uh, um, exposures. So this is with the tape all the way off again here now. So then I put the camera up um, outside yesterday, 12-12. Another weird thing is I kept taking the SD card in and out, but it kept at accurate time, which kind of blew me away. Um, so right over here is the hole. Now normally, with this, with this piece of uh, weed here, whatever the hell this thing is, if I had full-blown, if I had all the IR lights open or uncovered well first of all it would reflect off of this wood right here and then second it would reflect off of this and just overexpose everything so we'll jump to the nighttime images because unfortunately it took a lot of pictures of that moving all right so we get to the dark time and we'll start to see activity right there um, there's the head coming up and what it's doing is coming up out of the hole and then going on the other side of this wood here so that's where I'm gonna set the live trap tonight with the video camera on that side um, you can see it's 1130 when it started well let's see here no actually 1116 when it started to pop out so I don't know if it, I, I'm hoping it's just one freaking rat man if it's not, it's going to piss me off. But you can see it's coming out because I had plugged that hole up. So it's squeezing out the hole, going that way, gone. Now you can see movement here. Go back. You can see all, it's pushing the dirt out. See that? There's the head. Squeezing out again. There it is again. You'll see, we'll get a good picture of it here in a minute. So it keeps running in and out of there. You know, going on that side. I mean, that damn thing is active as hell. I can't believe all them nights running that, uh, that camera. Because I'd set it out here for three nights and never caught it once. Of course, I was shooting here in this area. Um... I'd set the rat trap up and everything, and I see this thing's going this way. But you'll see it does come back the other way in the morning. More activity. There it is. It's looking bigger, isn't it? So I don't know if there's, like, freaking babies and then the, the big freaking mama or what. But there, I mean, these images look almost identical, but they're not. You can see the timestamps different on all of them. See, again, it looks freaking identical. So I don't know what the hell it's doing. It's going out, getting something, and coming back in, or something. But we'll get a good picture there. Look at now. Now, doesn't that freaking thing look huge there? But like I say, we're, I don't know, 20 inches away. Here it comes. Here it is in the morning. Look at this. Three minutes to seven. And I went out there like about 6.30 with my flashlight because it's 
you know, dark then, and looked, I didn't see anything. And this son of a bitch comes around here then. Um, there we are, two minutes to seven, running back in there. And this is me picking the camera up. So you can see that it freaking works pretty good. So, all right, that's all I had to say about that.